Many of you were angered and saddened to see the ABC investigative report here on News Channel 9 showing Tennessee walking horses being abused and tortured. Well, today, the man at the center of the investigation came to federal court in Chattanooga to plead guilty in a deal struck between his lawyers and federal prosecutors. News Channel 9's John Pless was in federal court this morning. John? And Kim, that's when Jackie McConnell of Collierville told the magistrate he is guilty of one count of transporting and showing horses that were soared. 51 other criminal counts developed from the graphic video you're about to see were dropped. The Humane Society documented Jackie McConnell and his helpers physically abusing Tennessee walking horses. Their ankles were covered with caustic chemicals so that the painful burns would make the animal's front legs flinch. That reaction is what produces the gate that's so prized in a huge multi-million dollar Tennessee show horse industry. I hope this sends a message that uh, anyone else participating in this kind of uh, behavior or procedures stop. Stop now. Nathaniel Jackson, a Cookville trainer of Tennessee walking horses, helped ABC News develop the story. He came to see McConnell enter his plea and push for awareness of abuse he says permeates the industry. The federal case against McConnell is based on abuse documented in this video. Since McConnell agreed to plead guilty to transporting and showing horses that were soared, the 51 other counts of abuse were dropped. A promoter of Tennessee's biggest annual walking horse show that brings in $41 million says abuse is not as widespread as advocates say. There's always going to be some people who break the law, and we can't stop all of that. I mean, is there anything that has 100% compliance? I mean, I don't know of it. Now, we're trying to get there, you know, but I'll be honest with you, we'll never get there. There's going to be somebody get by with I mean, if we could, we would. While federal prosecutors want McConnell to get probation instead of prison time for his plea because he's 60 years old, it will be up to Judge Sandy Matice to decide the penalty during the sentencing hearing 9 a.m. September the 10th. Kim? John, is Jackie McConnell the only one charged in this case? Well, certainly not. There's a fourth person charged in the case uh, who hasn't been to court yet, but two other people, the mm -hmm. second and third are, uh, excuse me, are uh, John Mays and Joseph Abernathy. They're also uh, they have also entered guilty pleas in court this morning, and they'll also be sentenced during that September 10th sentencing. All right, John, thanks so much. Good mm -hmm. information.